All right, Lindsay's away, so I'm gonna stick handle mm -hmm. sidebar for you. And I'm very, I, of course I can. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I've got a very Canadian story to start. This is the 44th Great Northern Concrete Toboggan Race. Ooh. It's done by University. Toboggan made of concrete? No. The skis underneath the toboggan are made of concrete. This is a race for university students all across the country. So the engineering students from 18 universities got together. Can we show them pictures of them getting ready? Yeah. So they work for months on these things. See the skis on the bottom? Yeah. Those are made out of concrete. Everything else, the design, is up to want. them. But okay. if you like, people really get, look at this, they really get into this, right? So why the concrete? <laughs> I, I don't know. I just know that they have it for 44 years. Okay. And do you want to know who won? Who won? Sure. The University of Calgary. Ooh, you know how fast they went out to the west. How fast yeah. did they go? 50 kilometers an hour. 50 really? kilometers an I'm, hour. If anybody is watching who knows anything about this, I would love to know why the concrete. It's skis. almost like a bobsled. Sure. Yeah, it is a bit like But a I don't think bobsleds have concrete on the bottom of them. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I'm genuinely curious. Is it a I'm historical I'm just more fascinated thing? by the costumes. Yeah, I'm, what's up with that? But that makes Listen. sense. That's, that's all part of the pride making it idiosyncratic. I want to know about the concrete. Okay, but you're going to want to know about this next thing, too. Okay. Okay. You are going to love this. As people with three kids, uh -huh. where was this when my babies were little? Oh. Have a look. This is called the Snoofy B. Okay. It is supposed to make diaper changing easily. Watch how it works. Okay. So like normally, you know, the hands are in the way yes. and they get at the poop, watch this. So that, okay, oh, so that. The oh, hands like don't get in oh, the it's way. Like, it's like a cone for the dogs and after they have the surgery. And it's distracted, look, and they have little things that hang off it. But here's my one problem with this. Well, look kids how like happy it. she is. The kid loves it. Look how happy he is to have his bum changed. What's so your... here's my issue. They advertise it as a three in one. So it's a change pad, correct? Yeah. A diaper time play mat. Eh, whatever. And a diaper clutch. A diaper clutch. That's yeah, not because a thing. Is that a thing? Is that a thing, That's guys? not a, you can't <laughs> say it's a three in one it's and the one thing is a made up thing. Exactly. Diaper look at clutch. It, look at it. Sure. And then you can throw it under your arm and go to a party. Sure. You can That's what everyone wants to take to a party. Sure. <laughs> We've done stories on this show before about grooming on the go. Yeah. Please don't do it on public transit. Yeah. Don't clip your nails no. or whatever else. Well, here is something that adds to that sort of repertoire of things that you can use. You want to see? This is a Japanese smartphone no. attachment that will trim your nose hair. Oh, please don't do this beside me on the subway, please. No. <laughs> no you, okay. So they're thrilled about the fact that, hey, it doesn't need batteries. It yeah. just plugs right into your smartphone yeah. phone. So in case you notice any like nose hairs astray, you can just, just, just. No, okay, so uh, here's. <laughs> and then you can use your mirror. Look, are you about to defend it? No, I'm Hold gonna defend it, but okay, I'm gonna defend it in this way, where there are tons of things that we have in our, in our bathroom that, that run on batteries and the batteries run out. Yeah. So you would keep all of those things, including this one thing, Thing in your bathroom, and instead of using batteries, you always have your phone with you anyway, right? So anytime you need to use that thing, you just plug it into your phone. So whether it's uh, something uh, that or a toothbrush or whatever it would be, you would use the battery <laughs> of your phone because you already have your phone. <laughs> when they can invent a flat iron that will plug and plug into my phone, then that's useful. Yes. That is yes. disgusting. Yes. But they advertise that there's a little brush that comes with it, <laughs> but so you can keep it disgusting? sanitary. But that. It's, it's the battery power that's different. Everything else about that, that is a product that has existed for a long time. But it's pretty discreet. You can't really tell upset. what it is. I think you're upset at the notion that it would be used in public, but no one's suggesting <laughs> using it. For your nose hair. Yes, I am. It's disgusting. Someone will do it. Someone will do it. Okay, that's the you're problem. You're not a man. Let hey, me tell you, noticing. we I'm have, so the older we get, the more hair just starts popping out of places we don't hey, want to pop oh out of. Oh including, boy. I don't want to see you clean that popped up no hair in public. No one's suggesting that. The guy's in a business suit. Yeah, it's true. Because he's getting ready to go to work in his bathroom. Fine, you do that, but keep it at home. The judgment on this end. You know what? <laughs> Lindsay never judges the stories on Sidebar. I'm she on, just, I'm on your you side she lets one. me I'm judge the stories. Hot kettle. Here's You're a look pointing at your week at ahead. Me and judgment judging my judgment. Look at your week ahead.